Hi, I'm Dan Brett, CSO and the founder of Countercraft. Today it's another Founders Chat. I'm here with David Barroso, our CEO, and I want to talk about some really unique threat intel data we've been gathering by deploying deception machines across the internet. Now this background internet noise is really interesting. We've been classifying it. We want to find out why it's important. David, can you tell me what is it we're picking up with this internet noise and how are we classifying it? Well, I think that first of, all, first of all, we need to explain that these are non-targeted attacks. I mean, like uh, mm -hmm. random people in the internet are trying to compromise our boxes, but the, those are non-targeted attacks. So the people that we're going to find, the attackers, usually are basic attackers with basic TTPs or basic IOCs that we are going to find in the internet. Is that why we call it internet noise then? Yeah, because the idea with internet noise is that anytime you uh, deploy a machine in the internet, someone of that noise will touch you. Exactly. So it's a kind of background, ongoing type of attacks. Okay. But why is it important to profile these kind of threat actors? Because I, I guess that, of course, those actors are not se as sexy as those APTs that many people are tracking. But the, the problem is that the internet is full of them. And right. no one is taking care of them or trying to classify them. Okay. So that's really good. So my next question is, how do we do this? How are we gathering this background noise? So it's very basic. What we do is try to use our own products. So we deploy deception campaigns in the internet. So like Linux, Windows boxes, Office 65, any cloud service. And then we let those people attack them and compromise those services and systems. Right. OK, great. So imagine that I'm a defender. OK, I'm in charge of my organization. I want to make things slightly better and avoid these kind of internet um, noise attacks on my systems. What can I do? How can I use the information that we're publishing? So the, the idea is that uh, once you have this information, uh, it's very likely that one of your servers will be compromised by one of those people because perhaps you forgot to change the password or, I don't know, update uh, the software. So the idea is that with this information, you can be better protected. And if you find something similar in your network or in your organization, you will know what's happening. OK, great. And can people like looking at our blog posts get hold of this information? What kind of stuff will they be seeing? So we usually uh, are publishing uh, every actor that we're seeing, trying to classify them in different clusters. And we are publishing the IOCs that we see. IOCs, and right. TTPs. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are mapping everything to MITRE ATT&CK as well. OK. So, and also, what's the main goal of that attacker? So for instance, sometimes they just want to install a crypto miner. Others, they want to use your computer for a DDoS attacks. So right. we are trying to explain the, the main goal of those attackers. So a defender can take that data and then add it to his own systems or her own systems to improve their defense. Is that right? That's correct. Fantastic. Hey, have we seen anything funny out there or anything interesting from these types of threat actors? Yeah. For instance, sometimes we've, we've found what we call good Samaritans. People that uh, they Samaritan. connect to the machine yeah. and they see that they are, I don't know, easy to compromise and they, they drop a TXT file, for instance, in the desktop saying that, take care, administrator, this machine is open in the internet. Anyone can use this machine for doing bad things. So there are people that are taking care of others. So that's what... That's really interesting. So there's people out there who are going to go and try to help us improve the security of the boxes we've deployed precisely to track internet noise, right? <laughs> yeah. OK. That's insane. That, yeah, it's kind of like going around. But that uh, just shows there are some really good people out there. OK, well, listen. Thanks very much for listening so far. Um, there's going to be lots of details in the links below about where to find out more information about our blog posts on this Internet Noise series. Um, like and subscribe if you want to know more. Thanks very much for your time today, David. Yeah, thank you. Okay.